Michaels this year, and there was either 10 or 12 to a bag, and I believe they were a dollar ninety nine. Then may. little ones or if you need some We're going to pull him through our little loop. And that's how we're going to attach him to our hands, if I can get a hold of those. And then kind of make that knot nice and tight. And I found it's easier if you pull one string at a time. And my neon beads, you kind of want them to have a smaller middle. These are a little bit large, and so try and get the ones that have just a little bit smaller. These are kind of neon, and I'd rather have the other kind, but use what you have. I always tell craft people we always have so much laying around, so instead of going and picking something new up, let's use what we have. So I'm going to tie a knot on each side, try and get them matching. And I'm going to put my pony beads on. And you also could do these for a fun Halloween party. If you're doing it for kids or for school. I don't really like the orange on there. So I'm just going to do the bright yellow. But think how fun that would be with the colored rat tail too. That would really make a fun color. But you really really need the pony beads on it really helps with the color it really pops it and brings it to life and you can tie one section two section three sections however you many you want to do you can make some and see this one doesn't quite stand out as much but you may have an adult and I used to have adults buy them as well that would like a plain one with just a skeleton hand so just do some knots or something simple on that so we're going to put our pony beads on the other side but you see how fast this goes together and how inexpensive it really is. So you could sell it, you know, for $2 and be making some decent profit if you wanted to. Or just make them for friends and family as little treats to hand out to special kids. And then we're just going to go up to the top, loop it over, pull that through. Just make sure you have it long enough that it can fit over your guy's head. Cut that off even. What I did also was I took a spider ring. And on one of these it's tighter. Just kind of wedged it in there a little bit. So it kind of stayed. And then they had a spider ring too. And they could take it off if they wanted to. It's not a big deal. It's not something that has to stay on there. But it kind of just helps give it a little bit more life here as well. So there's all kinds of fun things that you could do with that 
just to have a fun Halloween piece and little kids that liked something to play with. And this one I turned it around backwards. Maybe that would make the spider stay a little bit better. This one isn't staying as well as that one. Maybe that's the difference between the two. So there's all kinds of fun things you can do with that. So that's just a quick little video. I hope you enjoyed that. Check out more of my fun little Halloween necklaces and these little hands. I'm going to be using these in a lot of craft projects for Halloween this year. So check them out. See what we're up to. Uh, jump over to my face, or, uh, excuse me, my website at miriamjoy.com and you'll see the YouTube link. And come on over and enjoy some more fun. Thank you and God bless.